a font of learning and scholarship at this time, whereas the Catholic kingdoms were mired in the Dark Ages. If you go over to Russia, people apparently don't even know how to don't even have a single advance. Humbert wants to be married. I will find him something, someone nice. So, there are two ways to go about marriage. It's either marry them to an external... <clears throat> sorry. To an external or a foreign woman, which you would go through here, or to one of your courtiers. Uh, you can arrange marriage. I would not marry my brother to my niece. So let's look outside of the box. Um, as you can see, it shows us various individuals. I generally like to go f see if I can find someone with high stewardship. Either that or at the moment it might be beneficial to go for an Italian since ah, our choices for Italians are low. But yes, I might go for an Italian since our culture is different and from our people and that will essentially make them more likely to revolt. But at the moment, I shall see if I can find someone with a nice high stewardship skill. Um, you can see that they have these education qualities here, as well as personal qualities over here. Um, whether it's one, two, or three dots in the various education area. Um, generally, I like to bring in some three or four dot people, fortune builders, that's fine, uh, just to teach future children. Um, you get a bunch of, oh, one of the things that your children are educated with is the education skill of their teachers, so I'm going to bring in this Careless, diligent, cynical, precarious, just proud, shy, gluttonous. Let me bring in this Beatrice, courtier of guineas. Uh, she also comes with a alliance, which, as you can see, she'll go for it, or rather, her liege will go for it. We don't gain much prestige, but hey. We need someone to teach our children. As you can see, one child lacks a guardian. I'm hoping to get him tutored by the woman and hopefully to... Excellent. Hopefully to... See if... He can absorb those skills. Uh, actually, there are plenty of skills he can absorb. The other being brilliant strategists, which in the early game, having good generals is a must. Uh, it's sometimes hard to see the effects of your martial skill in battle, but Trust me, it's there. Actually, we could educate him with some of our relatives that are skilled tactician, fortune. We could educate him with our steward. Let's go ahead and do that. It'll increase our steward's opinion of us, which is never a bad thing. We can see here that he an opinion of 12. Not exactly the most encouraging given that their opinions run from negative 100 to 100. Hmm. 
Let's ramp the speed up a little bit. Uh, so, should the city law be higher than the church law? If we agree with the city law, it will piss off our bishop. If we agree with the church law, or that they should be equal, then our duke will be unhappy. And... You know what, this one, at least we get some benefit out of it. As you can see, he doesn't like us, and he's probably not paying taxes to us anymore. But we can live with that, because we are going to try and take over this area. As I was saying, not all counties have a possibility of having six buildings in them, for example this one have it's like four buildings at max. Uh, generally the bigger cities and areas will have more buildings. For example, uh, Pentium has seven. I believe that there's a city, few cities in Spain that have seven. Uh, Rome has the possibility of seven. And there's also a few cities in the east, but right now we are not exactly the most developed area. Um, I'm keeping an eye on our military levies. He wants to declare someone a heretic. Uh, no. Again, ignore the crown. So he really doesn't like us. Um, let's see if we can appoint his successor. AKA someone who likes us. A naive appeaser. Yes, I think our brother would do as a successor for him. Uh, we can do this because right now well, it doesn't show at the moment, but right now we must have free vesture of uh, bishops. At other times, you won't be able to do that because the um, the Pope will appoint the bishops for you. But right now, I'm looking at army sizes and levy callouts. Uh, they can essentially call out about 2,000 troops between these two areas. We can call out about 1,200. Ah, people have converted. Excellent. Even though you hate me. It's okay. I can live with that. So now that they've convert there, we want to move on. Excellent. Levy reinforcement has increased, which means that hmm, they want to not pay our taxes. Pay their taxes. I'm going to bribe him and hope that it pays off. Let's check our monthly balance. Again, we get a whole lot from our cities, a whole lot from our demands, and the church is paying to the Pope. But I'm keeping an eye on our monthly balance just so that Ah, oh, excellent. One of our nieces has become a skilled tactician. Another of our nieces. 
brilliant strategist. Excellent. I'm going to slow it down and arrange some marriages for these. Um, again, what you want to do is attract essentially the best talent you can with these individuals. Um, it used to be you could get a matrilineal marriage, which usually means that the husband comes to live with you and all children are of the woman's line um, rather easily, to, but as of the last patch it's a bit difficult. You'll find that oh, our brother-in-law. Um, you'll find that you have to give at the very least a blood relative for the marriage to go through. Let's see. Oh, she is unimportant. That is disappointing. Let's try with Emma. She can attract anyone. If not, then we can at least get an alliance out of it and some prestige. We could get an alliance with the Irish. Um, again, right now I'm just looking for someone at least marginally close. Uh, from Hungary. Again, we'd lose a little bit of prestige, but an alliance may be worth it. Eventually, we may want to start breeding uh, Italian back into the family just to 